All right, guys, how's it going? So I've gotten a lot of questions over the last couple weeks as everybody's portfolio tanks because that's when everybody decides that they want to learn more about investments, which makes total sense. So here we go. That most high level video I could think of is just how should my money flow? If I have some money to invest, where should I go with it? So um, I call this like the typical waterfall. It's basic. It's boring. Let's move my fat face out of the way. And here we go. So the best thing for you to do is probably be in your 401k. Again, this is just general information, but like if you have a job and your company offers a 401k, use it because there's typically a company match, okay? Meaning they might say like, oh, if you put in, you know, for every dollar, we give you six cents, right? Which is like a 6% return, which is great, right? It's, it's a free six bucks, right? On, you know, on every hundred bucks. Um, and, you know, different companies, different 401k matches, doesn't matter. It's free money. So don't ever give away or turn down free money. The most you can put in is 19,500 bucks this year. All right, so now you got more money to invest and you don't know what to do. Well, you can set up a separate traditional IRA or, or Roth IRA, okay? So notice this word between traditional and Roth. It generally just means, am I gonna be taxed now on when the money goes into the account or am I gonna be taxed later during retirement? So a Roth IRA means I'm being taxed now, meaning my paycheck comes out, everything is taxed, and then I have some cash at the end of my paycheck, right? Like what we pay our bills with. And then I can put some of that money into a, into a, an IRA. That's a Roth. If it's a traditional, what happens is you can actually tax defer it on your paycheck. So your paycheck will come out with your gross number before the IRS takes out your taxes. You can see some subtraction like, okay, we're not going to tax this and it can go straight into um, you know, the, um, IRA. And so that's great, right? It's some, another tax deferment, but you can only put in six grand. I don't want to say only, right? But it, you can put in six grand in 2020 combined. So if you have two different accounts, that's it. The Roth IRA, eventually you'll get kicked out. Meaning, um, if you make too much or you have too much, uh, you can't use a Roth IRA anymore. And traditionally people will, that's when they'll transition from the Roth to the traditional from there in the waterfall, right? The, the next best thing, there's kind of two options, right? A 529 savings plan, right, for your kid, um, right? If you have a kid, you can probably put in, I, I think traditionally you can put in like 14 grand as a gift tax, right? The IRS only allows you to like gift 14 grand to people before you start getting taxed. Uh, that's what it is in 2020. Or if you don't have kids or you don't want to save for college yet for, again, a number of reasons, that's where you get to your like brokerage accounts, right? When everybody thinks like stock markets and trading and stuff, that's typically happening inside of inside of these. Um, so again, this very basic waterfall, um, general format, I follow it. And then it's not until um, I kind of got past these first two layers where I started saying like, okay, what, what do I do within these? Um, and that's a great question, right? And so the next question is like, why should you take your yearly contribution seriously? And why do you start today? Well, it's pretty simple. Again, let me move my fat head. I mean, you look at the graphs yourself, or you look at the numbers yourself, right? So I'm saying you put in 19.5 a year uh, for your 401k, just 401k, that's it, right? You have 19.5 right now, you're gonna put in 19.5 every year, you're 30 years old, okay? Meaning you have 35 years till retirement, age 65, 7% interest, and then you're gonna compound at the, at the end of each period, right? So you got about 2.9 million bucks, great, right? Like, it's, it's, that's great money for retirement. I, I know a lot of people would love to have almost $3 million. And that's just, you just put money into your 401k every year and you got some 7% return, which is pretty traditional, right? Like the market last year made 33% and then coronavirus hit and then dang, it tanked basically 30%, right? So like they've evened out. Um, but overall you can get about 7% is a pretty fair number. The next thing is like, what happens if I started investing at 25 rather than 30, right? So the only thing different, extra five years, 7% return, boom, $4.1 million. Now, that's why you should take it seriously, right? I, I, don't, I don't think I need to show you any math. It's the difference between, you know, you made 1.2 million more dollars just because you put in basically $20,000, $19,500 for an extra five years, right? That's pretty incredible. It's the power of compound interest. Okay, so you're like, all right, well, how do I get a 7% return, right? It's a pretty common question. 
And so here's the next slide, super boring. Okay, like now what do I put into these accounts? All right, well from there, I'm, I'm planning on making a video about like, how do you actually freaking buy things, right? Like, okay, like I have, I have a 401k, what do I do now? Okay, we'll go from there. Thanks guys, have a good one.